大家好，欢迎你们来到我的视频。如果你们对我的视频有兴趣，别忘了订阅哦。Today, let us look at the Chinese word collocation for 嘴 Before we begin, let us learn what is word collocation. 词语搭配 Chinese word collocation. 词语搭配 Refers to the way in which certain Chinese words tend to occur together more frequently than others. This is an important aspect of the Chinese language that helps learners to understand how words are used in contexts and to communicate effectively. Collocations can involve verb noun combinations, adjective noun combinations. Adverb, verb combinations, and many others. For example, certain nouns and verbs have specific collocation patterns in Chinese, and deviating from these patterns can make a sentence sound awkward or incorrect. The Chinese word "zui" is a noun that means mouth. "Zui" is a HSK three. Chinese word. As mentioned above, certain words in Chinese tend to occur together more frequently. Take "zui" for example. If you want to say "open your mouth," the correct verb to use is "zhang kai," and not "da kai." The correct way to say "open your mouth" in Chinese is "zhang kai." 嘴 or 张嘴 the collocation for 打开 would be 打开门 or 打开课本 etc. Another example is shut up. Shut in Chinese can be 关 or 闭 The correct collocation for shut up. Is, 闭嘴 or 闭上嘴 rather than 关嘴 just like 打开关 is used for 关门 or 关窗 Here are some common collocations or word combinations using 嘴 Number one, 嘴甜嘴甜 Is a colloquial expression that is used to describe someone who is good at using flattery or compliments to manipulate others or to get what they want. It is referring to a sweet talker. From the Chinese word "tian" plus "zui," you would have guessed that it has something to do with sweetness. It does not mean that the person's mouth. Taste sweet, but rather it is often used to describe someone who is insincere or deceptive. However, in some cases, it can be used simply to describe a person who is good at making others feel good through his words. 他嘴甜得很，你别上了他的当。他嘴甜得很。你别上了他的当，他嘴甜得很。你别上了他的当。He is a sweet talker. Don't fall for his trick. Number two, 嘴快 By looking at the Chinese word 快 which means quick, you would think that this phrase describes a person who talks quickly. Well, this is not the case here. The phrase "zui kuai" actually describes a person who has loose lips and who likes to reveal private or confidential information to others. He is very quiet. Don't talk to the boss in front of him. He is very quiet. Don't talk to the boss. 面前说老板
的坏话。他嘴快，不要在他面前说老板的坏话。He has loose lips. Don't talk back about the boss in front of him. Number three, 嘴硬。硬 has several meanings depending on the context. Can mean hard, stiff, strong, but over here it means stubborn, not yielding to others. 嘴硬 is used to describe a person who knows that he or she has done wrong, but still refuses to admit mistake or defeat. 大家都知道是你做的，你还嘴硬不肯承认。大家都知道是你做的，你还嘴硬不肯承认。大家都知道是你做的，你还嘴硬不肯承认。Everyone knows you are the one who did it. Yet you still refuse to admit it. Number four, 嘴紧 This Chinese phrase is a direct opposite of 嘴快 The word 紧 means tight in English. So 嘴紧 describes a person who is tight-lipped. He or she is careful of his or her words and a person who can keep secrets. 他嘴紧又勤劳，是个值得信赖的人。他嘴紧又勤劳，是个值得信赖的人。他嘴紧又勤劳，是个值得信赖的人。He is tight-lipped and hardworking. He is a man who can be trusted. Number five, 嘴欠，嘴欠。Refers to someone who speaks without thinking, often making careless or irresponsible remarks. Qian in English means to owe or to lack. If we add zui to qian, becomes lacking consideration before speaking. He 这个人很嘴欠，说的话总惹人生气。他这个人。很嘴欠，说的话总惹人生气。他这个人很嘴欠，说的话总惹人生气。He talks without any consideration and thus makes people angry whenever he opens his mouth. Number six, 嘴痒 The Chinese word 痒 is equivalent to itchy. In English, from the word itself, it literally means mouth itchy. But this Chinese phrase does not mean one's mouth is itchy and needs medical attention. Rather, it means to speak whenever there is a chance to speak, a strong urge to say something. 他嘴痒痒的想把秘密说出来。他嘴痒。痒的，想把秘密说出来。他嘴痒痒的，想把秘密说出来。He has a strong urge to spill out the beans. Number seven, 嘴馋 Chan is a Chinese word that means greedy or craving. So, 嘴馋 is a Chinese phrase that means. Having a craving for food, he 每次看到饺子就嘴馋。他每次看到饺子就嘴馋。他每次看到饺子就嘴馋。He craves at the sight of dumplings. Number eight, 嘴乖。嘴乖。Is a Chinese phrase used mainly on children who speak in a clever and lovable way. Guai is a colloquial Chinese to mean well-behaved, obedient, or good. 这小女孩嘴乖，很讨老人家喜欢。这
，小女孩嘴乖，很讨老人家喜欢。这小女孩嘴乖，很讨老人家喜欢。This little girl speaks well and is well received by the elderly.